Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. Um, there's, there's been a lot going on and I want to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing um, because it's all been for the benefit of this YouTube channel. Sort of. In a roundabout way. Um, so yeah, let's get the intro out of the way and then we'll get on to what's been going on. Cool. Hi guys, welcome back, my name is Lee McLaughlin and for those of you that are new around here please consider liking this video, hitting subscribe and the little bell notification so you get notified when I upload new videos. Now that that's out of the way, let me explain what's been going on because there has been an awful lot going on. Um, I've tried to make this video maybe five times now um, over the last three weeks because it's been four weeks since I last uploaded a video. Um, but I'm back again, um, I, I haven't done an Ardis Appearing Act like I did last summer. Um, things have been getting kind of hectic around here. Um, try to shoot more videos, edit more videos, and it's been a bit of a problem because the biggest part of this channel was always aimed to be the, the, the tutorial section, you know, doing tutorials on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, um, Audition, all the, the Adobe suite more or less, um, a little bit of web design um, predominantly on WordPress, all that sort of stuff. But the issue that I've had was, and it's a fairly stupid issue, um, editing. I had a decent computer at home where I edited these vlogs, um, but to do tutorials I had nothing down here where I could sit with a decent machine and do the tutorials. So that's where this comes in. This is a beast of a computer. Um, this took me a day to build. That's a lie. It took me three weeks. Not to like, actually build it. It took me a day to build it because it's been ten years since I've bought a computer. I've never done anything with water cooling before, so this was a first for me, but it was simple. There was a lot of things that have changed since the last computer I built 10 years ago, but this was... It's actually more than 10 years, believe it or not. It's quite scary, but anyway. Um, so these lights are really, really bright today. Um, put me off a bit. But anyway, um, so this took me just over a, a, a day, give or take. Um, simple because I was hitting technical issues and I was having to wait on responses from manufacturers. It wouldn't have took me as long as that any other way. And on top of that, um, the, the GPU, the graphics processing unit, um, I didn't actually have a monitor that was compatible with it, so I had to go and buy one of them, so that took up a lot of time on that day. So, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's here now, so... This allows me to use this for editing at home much quicker because it's a much more powerful machine. Um, and the Mac that I used to use is now through there, which is um, through there. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, back in frame, I'm not going to spend all that money and all that time building it and not being frame. But anyway, yeah, so, the computer's now built, it's here just now, but it's going back home today. Um, I only brought it here today just to make this video, so, um, how about we have a closer look at it?
So as you would agree, it's very colourful. It is very bright and I, I love the look of it. Um, I totally love, I don't know if you've noticed, I totally love all things RGB. Um, so it's no surprise that that was going to be built with more lights than Blackpool. Blackpool's a seaside town in England that has got them. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. Um, th that was not going to be a surprise. So let me just take you through to let you see the, the new setup through in the editing suite. I have to change the um, camera to a different mic and I have to take... Um, a lot's changed. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's going to change a wee bit. Um, I've stopped using the ceiling lights completely now because they just really, really do suck. Um, so. Those of you that um, have been watching other videos on this channel, predominantly the the tutorial things, um, tutorial videos, um, you're going to maybe recognise this wall. This is where I used to do the tutorials, um, right up until I stopped, and this is where they'll continue from again. So I'll be sitting. I've not got a chair here. It's at home. I'm going to bring it back. Um, so I'm going to be sitting here at my desk. That's the Mac. So anyway, um, yeah, so that, that's through there. The podcast is uh, a new thing that I'll briefly talk about. Um, putting the lid back in the pen. It's my head on OCD. Anyway, so the podcast is called Everyday Scottish. It's me and my mate Rab that um, host the show. Um, and it's a bit of fun. Um, there's a lot of swearing in it. I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of swearing. But... It's a bit more of a comedy outlet for me, uh, rather than try to do too much comedy on this channel because too much just um, takes away the, well, I don't know. Um, I, I always feel like the, the tutorials is a big part of this channel. The vlog is just as equally a big part and that's where I try to have a bit more fun. Uh, the tutorials are a bit more serious but still try to put a little bit of humour into it. But comment below, what do you think? Am I taking this all too seriously? Um, should I just be me and have a laugh like I would normally do or should I be me, have a laugh when required and keep the tutorials a bit more professional? I mean, I always think that if you're going to follow my advice, I need to make it look like I'm a professional and I know what I'm talking about. That's kind of why I have this divide, but I don't know. Um, anyway. Forgetting that for a second, um, the podcast is out, um, at the moment it's bi-weekly. I hope I'm back making videos on a more regular basis because now I've moved things around about, I kind of feel like I can get back to making content. So, a quick rundown of what's happened. I've moved the Mac from home, brought it here. I've bought a computer here, moved it home. I've bought a new monitor at home, which is awesome, curved and big, widescreen. So the, the house has got a better setup now, down here has got a, a setup that I never had, um, which is an awesome setup um, as well. So I can now record desktop footage on the Mac, so when I'm doing tutorials you can see what I'm talking about on screen and stuff like that. So, I mean, fantastic. Everything's fell into place. I'm now in a much, much better position um, than I was three weeks ago, believe it or not. So I'm back on track. So you'll see in this video, the, the original um, intro's still here. I was talking about changing that 
um, that's coming. Um, I'm changing that again from what I had because what if I, I was using kind of old content to make it. I'm changing my mind on that. I'm keeping the layout of the new intro. Um, I just want to shoot better footage for it and um, do it properly and stop cutting corners so much. So yes, um, tutorials will be back very very soon. I just need to sort out one or two issues with the microphone that I've got and once that's done um, I can just come down here one day and shoot a couple of tutorials and then I can edit them all and start uploading them. Aye, yeah. Anyway, um, so if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so and get a little bell notification clicked so that you get notified when I upload more of these videos. Whether it be the vlog, the tutorials, um, the challenges. That was a bad move. Or the here's the thing. I mean that's that's a thing. So I'm gonna fill them. Ah, here's a thing about this. That's actually gonna be coming out very, very soon. Anyway, um thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Catch you later. I just wanted to say that an idol of mine, an absolute idol, he's a legend, uh, Peter McKinnon, had stolen my little lens clip trick. Um, that's mine, Peter. Back off. My trick. You stick to your cap thing. I'll... I wish I had a cap here so I could... Mm, leave it alone, it's mine. I, I, it took me months to come up with that. And you just come in and... And yours was cooler than mine. But this is mine. Do you even know who Peter McKinnon is? If not, check him out. His videos are a lot better than mine. Don't unsubscribe though. I mean, just try to 